wise and I'm out. And whenever Senior Wendy is asked this little puppet, the little puppet said yes. So when the FBI said uh, to Colada, are you telling us the truth? Yes. <laughs> are you able to tell us that Tony Spilacho killed anybody? Yes. <laughs> How many people did he kill? As many as he might be to tell you. You can name one. I think I can name one. And they used this little senior Winston Fest guy in Kamada and took him all over town and put him in the witness protection program and bought him uh, lunches and dinner and uh, uh, all sorts of treats and shows and how to stay in nice hotels. And he's the one who was the sole witness against uh, Tony back in, uh, in uh, Chicago by talking about the, uh, uh, the murder of the guy who died with Bob Dowd and his buddy. And we went to trial and I was in charge of the course examination of Pilate. And I had an inherent dislike for him. I don't know whether you tell that or not. <laughs> I made only one mistake in all the years I practiced law. Kalada was represented in Las Vegas by a very good guy, John Mommett. And John Mommett's office was right on top of my office at 520 South Court. And uh, Johnny was a great guy. He was going to court uh, with Mommett. And uh, uh, Mommett brought Kalada down to my office. He said, I want you to meet this guy, Kalada. And uh, Tony always said to me, stay away from this guy. He's a wimp. Uh, he's no good, don't talk to him, I want nothing to do with him. And uh, uh, John said, be nice to him, uh, uh, meet Mr. Goodman. And a lot of mumbled something, couldn't understand a word he said. He talked to that street talk Chicago crap. And uh, uh, he was uh, introduced to me, he said, how do I look? I said, how do you look? You look like a bum. You're supposed to go to court, and you, you, you don't even have your tie uh, done right. And he said, I don't know how to tie one. I said, I'll teach you how to tie one. And I took the tie, and I put it around his neck, and the only mistake I've made in 35 years of practicing law at that time was I didn't tie it enough. I, I didn't spread it to Lada because that's what he deserved. So uh, Lada is the only witness, and um, we uh, were to go to trial, and Lada is the only one who talks uh, about any substance as far as Tony is concerned. And I was very uh, uh, I was amazed because he was such a dummy, but they worked with him so much it almost sounded real. And uh, we get through, and then the state rests its case. They said, Mr. Goodman, uh, do you have uh, any witnesses you'd like to put on? I said, uh, I I'd like to have a piece of this tomorrow. He said, well, no, uh, why don't you move for judgment of acquittal? Now, I didn't know what judgment of acquittal was in a state court. In a federal court, I knew what it was. And I said, yes, and I made a, I put a very cogent argument, and the judge said, deny it. Uh-oh. I said, what happens now? He said, well, uh, tomorrow we need to put on witnesses, or uh, you make a closing argument. Well, my judgment of the acquittal motion was basically my closing argument. And I said to myself, my client's in a lot of trouble. And if my client's in a lot of trouble, there's no telling what kind of barrels are. Uh, did I say that? Uh, I agree with myself. Uh, uh, if I, he's in trouble, I'm going to be in trouble because uh, even though I represented him with so many cases, I never found guilty, never spent a day, a day in jail except waiting for me to get back from another case so I could represent him on bail. So that night, I went back to the hotel and if I, if I had been at late week, with the sweat that came out of my body. My bed was so wet that it was not from the pee pee of the guy. It was, it was uh, so wet that it was unbelievable. It was just incredible. Didn't sleep an inch of tossing and turning. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I said, there's got to be a difference between a motion for judgment and acquittal and what I'm doing tomorrow morning. And I said, tomorrow morning, I guess I'm arguing reasonable doubt. So I got up, and the judge said, do you have any witnesses? I said, no, Your Honor, I'd like to make my argument. And he, the judge, and no jury, the judge was the binder of fact and uh, of law. He took all himself, 
And I argued to the judge, and I argued to him, and argued to him, and he finally said, let me uh, deliberate this. He went off the bench into the back of the two chambers, and he came out and said, not guilty. Well, Salat, yes, sir. Salat, yes, sir. Salato was so happy. I mean, uh, there's only one guy in the courtroom who was happier. That was Oscar. <laughs> Oscar was the happiest guy in the world because I thought that might be my only loss. Scott, you worked yourself. That one. Uh, nobody would be able to say that uh, Tony was the guy who put the uh, barrel in his like me. So, 